Today's lesson is on solving multi-step equations. You're going to want to have some extra pens uh, as it will allow you to see different parts of solving an equation and it will aid or enhance your learning quickly. So let's get started. Okay, you'll see a top, across the top of the screen it says don't call max after midnight. This is a mnemonic device that will allow you to hopefully remember the different steps in solving a multi-step equation. If you go in this order, you'll be able to solve every equation no matter what level of math you are in. The first word, don't, stands for distribute. Now, you're going to distribute when you see parentheses. So as I look at my example, I see five parentheses, 2x plus 3, end of parentheses, equals 12x minus 9 plus 4x. I notice that the 5 is outside of the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute the 5 to the 2x, and I would get 10x. And then I'm going to distribute the 5 to the positive 3, and that gives me plus 15. And then I'm going to rewrite the rest of the problem. Equals 12x minus 9 plus 4x. Make sure that in each one of these steps, you're writing down the problem or rewriting the problem every single time. It will really allow you not to get confused and missed steps. The second word, call, stands for combining like terms. And we have to make sure that the like terms are on the same side of the equal sign when we're combining them. Okay? So I look at my example. I have 10x plus 15 on the left side of the equal sign. None of the like terms there. On the right side of the equal sign, I see 12x minus 9 plus 4x. And I recognize that I have a 12x and a plus 4x. Those are like terms. So I'm going to combine them. And so my new line would say 10x plus 15 is equal to 16x minus 9 after I combine them. The third step, max, stands for moving the smallest variable. And the reason why I picked max is because x is the most commonly used variable. All right? Hopefully that will give you a little hint or an indication. So I look on my equation again. I have a 10x on the left side and a 16x on the right side. 10x is smaller, so I need to move that. So I want to do the inverse of a positive 10x, which would be subtracting 10x from both sides. The 10x is on the left will cancel out, and my new equation will say 15 is equal to 6x minus 9. The fourth step, after, stands for adding or subtracting in order to isolate the variable. So my variable is 6x. It's on the right side of the equal sign. If there's another number on that side, that's what I'm going to add or subtract. So I see a negative 9, and I need to do the opposite, or the inverse, of subtracting 9, which would be adding 9. And we would add it to both sides of the equal sign. The 9s will cancel out, and you'll be left with 24 is equal to 6x. The last step would be multiplying or dividing in order to get a coefficient of positive 1. So in this case, we have 24 is equal to 6x. The 6 is being multiplied by the x, so we have to do the inverse or the opposite of that, which would be dividing by 6. And your answer would be 4 equals x. And that's how you can solve all multi-step equations in Integrated Math 1 or Algebra 1. Understand that as you have these different equations, you're not necessarily going to use every single step every single time. It just depends how in-depth the equation is and what it offers you at the beginning for what steps you're going to use. Let's move on to another example. You see on the left-hand side, it has a problem that is solved. Okay? On the right-hand side, it says, in the problem on the left, a mistake was made. A, circle the line where you first notice, notice the mistake. B, explain the mistake below here using math language. And then C, fix the mistake and get the correct solution. So, the first line is the problem. I see parentheses. It tells me I should distribute. In the second line, it did distribute, but I see a mistake there. Let me explain the mistake on the right-hand side. The mistake is that 
they didn't distribute correctly. They needed to multiply 3 and 3 in the parentheses. So let's make that correction over here on the right. I'm going to rewrite the problem, and then I'm going to distribute correctly. 3 times m would be 3m, and then distribute the 3 times the positive 3, and that would get plus 9 is equal to 12. Now I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides because I need to isolate my variable. And then I'm going to get 3m is equal to 3. And then I'm going to divide by 3. And I would get m equals 1. And that would be my solution. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let's do another problem like this where they give you a problem and a solution on the left side and the same instructions on the right. So I'm going to look at the problem, and there was a mistake made. In the first step, the problem. In the second line, they were supposed to distribute. So 5 times r would be 5r. 5 times a negative 2 would be negative 10 equals 20. So the second line is correct in this. The third line is where I see the mistake. Let's explain the mistake. They subtracted 10 instead of adding it. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to correct it here. There is the line that is correct. In this situation, I need to add 10 to both sides. The 10s are going to cancel out. My next line says 5r equals 30. And then I'm going to, again, divide by 5. And then I would get r equals 6. And that would be the final solution. I hope this video has helped you. Again, if you struggle with it, Please go back and watch it, and hopefully this can help you solve multi-step equations moving forward.